Okay, folks, this is um, our um, Copeland, uh, Paul Copeland text. Uh, it is the Copeland engineering text, um, engineering studies, and this is uh, volume two. And we're just looking at some aspects of, um, now we're just gonna knock our camera over, why not? Let's look at um, some aspects of um, sectioning threads. It um, can get a little bit confusing, this business. So over here, we've got three examples of um, section thread holes. We have a, um, a hole that goes right through over here. And you can see here that we have the actual hole diameter and we know it's threaded because we have, you can, you can probably see there's like a, um, a line through here and then the inside of the hole on both sides. So that the distance between those two lines is your thread depth. Uh, yay, period four's over. Um, so that's a through hole and you can see it's sectioned. It's the same, um, hatching's going in the same direction as both sides, so that's one piece and you hatch through the thread line, okay? Now in the next picture, we have a, um, a hole that's blind, okay? So a threaded hole, um, which, is, which is blind. So three examples, section thread hole, a through hole, um, and a blind hole. So over here, this is our, um, our blind hole. So it ends at the, at the bottom here, and you can see that um, basically what happens with this particular drawing is that you've got, th you hatch over the thread lines, and then at the bottom, the thread ends at the bottom, um, and this is the blind hole. And this is a conventional way of um, uh, creating a picture. So you've got um, a 120 degree um, triangular bottom at the hole. So if you want to know what page this is on in Copeland, so you can have a look at yourself, it's on 142. Um, so that's that's your um, that's your blind hole, and then you've got here a through hole um, with a bolt in place. Now, you might say to yourself, "Well, what's the difference between this side and this side?" We should have a good look at it, and you tell me. Ding, 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 ding. This is thinking music. Ding, 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 ding. Yes. Um, if you haven't noticed, um, I'm going to point it out to you. Um, the, as the bolt screwed into the hole it starts to take up the thread. So where it's not, where the bolt is not inside the hole, you're hatching over the actual thread line. But then when you're, you've got your bolt inside the, um, the piece that's been sectioned, you don't hatch across the thread line because the thread becomes the bolt, kind of. That's the idea. So you just got to remember, if you've got a bolt that's been screwed into the hole, the hatching doesn't go across the thread line. But if you've got no bolt in the hole, Hatching goes across the thread line. It's a little point, but if you ever get a diagram in an HSC examination where they actually have a bolt inside the hole or inside the assembly, and you hatch across the thread line because you think that's the right thing to do, you might lose a mark. So it's food for thought, um, and just one little extra thing that you can stick up in your brain boxes about um, sectioning drawings. I um, hope that's helpful. Like I said, go to page 142 and have a good look at it, and a good read. Um, but um, one more thing that you need to know about sectioning. Thank you.